So the story with Christy Yamaguchi is that when she was very young, in her first competition, she finished something like 12, right? To her mom, Carol Yamaguchi, she said, how come the other girls, these three girls got ribbons and I got nothing? And her mom said, that's because you finished 12, honey. If you want a ribbon, you got to finish first, second, or third. And she tells that story. And so Christy Yamaguchi, she started practicing and she went to practice every day at, I don't know, six in the morning. And, she, you know, she had to have a flexible school program because she was practicing so much. And so no, nobody in my book became instantly remarkable and instantly made a difference. You need to sacrifice. It, it just comes with the territory. And I think you ask, how do you stay motivated? Well, I think much of that answer is that when you find what you love, you don't even think about what motivates you. It's like, you know, honestly, it's not like I sit around saying, what motivates me to write? How can I keep getting motivated? What keeps, you know, what keeps me podcasting? Now, don't get me wrong. There are moments where I say, oh, man, this is too hard. I got to give this up. So everybody has those moments of doubt. And if anybody tells you that they never had a moment of doubt, that they never grew frustrated or tired, I'm telling you right now, they are lying to you. They're lying to you for sure. They may also be lying to themselves. It's just not possible. Everybody has these moments of doubt. So the test is not whether you have these moments of doubt. The test is whether you can push through them and keep going. That's where you get remarkable or not.